ladies, ladies. I promise I'm not trying to slut shame you. If you want to still live that life, that's entirely up to you. I'm not in the business of telling people how to live their lives. However, I would honestly strongly encourage you to, to consider the fact that some of these guys who you give yourselves to view you as just being better than their hand. Like that is that is how meaningful it is to them. Because hookup culture benefits guys more than it will ever benefit girls. So some people are gonna disagree with me, but let me explain. For starters, we have been knew that guys mainly just want sex. They rarely want commitment, but will do practically anything to get laid. Whereas girls, we're not super horn dogs. Some of us are, but not to that extreme. Y'all wanna hook up like equally and with no commitment, whatever. Like you do, you live your life. I'm not judging. The problem is that guys tend to lead girls on because they want to keep getting what they want, which is a hookup. And then girls are painted out to be clingy or obsessive or psycho because they catch feelings but realistically it should be understandable to catch feelings when you're doing something so intimate instead of just being painted out as crazy and what do girls even gain from it honestly five minutes of faking it and not finishing 99% of the time I really don't think I'm missing out I think the girls are getting tired of hookup culture because I feel like I'm seeing more and more videos now of women just who are just quite frankly fed up of dating and I think that also explains why less and less women are on dating apps and why a lot more women are now choosing to just be single and I don't think that this is something that's exclusive to women I think there are also a lot of men who are also sick and tired of the dating scene and a lot of men who also have no desire anymore to take part in it because of the current state of it I'm seeing a lot of women starting to realize what has been the current culture dating and and, and the hookup and what the hot girl summers and all these things that look like sexual freedom sexual li liberation I do whatever I want and then at the end of the day, I'm gonna get what I want. The vast majority of times, and actually research shows this, I'm actually gonna do, I'm working on a really big video, breaking down casual sex, hookup culture, and how the body keeps the score. And not just body count, but the mind, the brain actually keeps the score. Sex is never just casual, it's just not. It involves so many other mechanics, your attachment style, your past trauma. Usually casual sex, hookup culture is antithetical. It is the opposite of what you truly desire, which is to have a fulfilling and lasting relationship. Please take a minute to talk about college hookup culture. I feel like it gets swept under the rug so much, like not enough people talk about it. Personally, being 21 years old, I've always kind of found it like harder to relate to people in the dating world because I was always looking to go on like real dates and I've always just kind of been a relationship person. I mean, thankfully I'm my great boyfriend now, so I'm not dating anymore, but I remember when I was single in college, it was brutal, man. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to the whole dates thing, to be honest, I think that culture also comes a lot of risk and potentially danger. Violent crime is at an all time high. You're more likely than ever to be attacked by just walking down the street, let alone hooking up with a stranger. In many parts of the country, homicides have increased 50% and 36% in aggravated assaults. This isn't uncommon anymore. We are seeing a rise in crime across the nation, but there's vital steps you can take to save your life and the ones you love. An attacker's worst enemy is attention. And that's why I recommend Scream Siren. Scream Siren is the ultimate personal protection alarm. They require no training or skills to operate and can be used by anyone regardless of age or physical ability. The fact of the matter is that victims are often too traumatized to shout or fight back in a dangerous situation. Criminals hate attention and will likely run off after realizing this alarm won't stop. Nearly 100,000 users trust the Scream Siren with their life. Try Scream Siren risk-free for 90 days and for up to 50% off by clicking the link Link in the description box down below or by visiting screamsiren.com. After placing your order, the Scream Siren will be delivered straight to your doorstep. Okay, back to the video. Women kind of ruin that, hear me out. The truth is, if we're being honest, having an honest, honest conversation, there are some women who will accept dates with guys who they're not interested in just so that they can have a free meal or free entertainment. So because of that, I think there is a, a category of men who have just completely given up on the concept of dating because they've wasted so much money and time on on dates that never amounted to anything. Which is why I think the whole Netflix and chill thing became a thing because it was a way for guys to not spend money, but also still potentially get what they want 
if you get what I mean. This is the old system that so many women have wanted to throw away. A lot of men, in order for them to get sex, they had to commit. By commit, I mean not just relationship, but engagement and marriage. In order to get married, they had to have a good job and present themselves a certain way and meet the family. All those types of things had to take place. So there were security mechanisms built in for the woman so that he couldn't just have casual sex with her and just ghost her or not commit to her or be with multiple women. Women now today, they don't want that anymore. They want to be free with their bodies. Everybody's talking about yay right now and how, you know, freedom of speech. And you're free to do what you want, as long as it's legal. You're free to do what you want, but you are not free of consequences. Everything that glitters is not gold. So it looks like freedom, what Hollywood, what media has tried to tell women that is just like all this freedom in doing this. And for some women, maybe it is at this point, but a lot of young women are seeing they are unfulfilled in those things, that they are getting ghosted, they're having trauma. Your cup is getting filled with trauma. The moment of pleasure usually does not last, okay? Past that point, like you're in that moment. But what does last is the trauma that comes from it. And you may think, well, it wasn't traumatic. It, he didn't like hurt me or do anything. But the re <laughs> your, psychologically, your subconscious mind, your, uh, your unconscious mind, all types of things go into this. Your body, your mind, more even than your body, your mind keeps the score. And that's the trauma that starts to build up and design your world view. And that's why you get into close to your 30s, 40s, and you're bitter, you're angry, you have these world views about how men are when the reality is it's the men that you were dealing with and that because those safety mechanisms are no longer in place in terms of a woman, you know, body not just being used for sexual gratification, those are gone. But that is part of the consequence of completely demolishing things and there's no balance and there's really no middle ground. But I'm starting to hear women like this talk about it. Hookup culture is not empowering. I totally agree with everything she said. And if you're someone who enjoys hookup culture, by all means, you do you boo, I'm not judging. I wanna offer like a slightly different take though. As a brown girl, I went through all of grade school not thinking I was pretty. And then I got to college and realized that I was kind of hot. So for like the first time in my life, guys who I found hot found me attractive. And I would be lying to you if I said I didn't enjoy that attention. I also feel like our generation has normalized like hooking up with someone first before you date them. But the unfortunate reality is a lot of times guys see that as completely transactional and you are fully disposable to them. And so you really don't gain much, especially if you're someone who's like me and you want more of a relationship. I just don't think that hooking up with someone is going to get you there. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree. Do you know what's crazy? Men will sleep with women who they would never be seen in public with. And as a woman, I couldn't quite, I was quite shocked by that because women would never do that. The type of men that a woman would sleep with is on the same caliber as the type of man that she would have a relationship with. So women don't reduce their standards. I feel like I need to clarify and say physically. Women on average don't reduce their standard when it comes to physical appearance. They'll reduce their standard for who they'll sleep with in terms of personality. Like she might sleep with the bad boy or the douchebag who she would never take seriously in a relationship because he's not boyfriend material. But when it comes to physical appearance, women typically don't reduce their standards. They have the same standards for who they would date in a relationship and who they would sleep with whereas men it's not the same like the men have a this standard for who they will be in a relationship with but then when it comes to who they'll sleep with the standard is like here and i do think that this is having a very detrimental effect on the dating space because i know this is going to sound bad but i think the reason why women complain about settling so much is because a lot of them don't realize that what they deem as settling is actually their level. Because when they were sleeping with these really attractive guys, they thought, okay, this is my level. This person is attracted to me because I'm on his level. Not knowing that men drastically reduce their standards when it comes to casual situations. A guy will never make a commitment with a woman who he doesn't think is the best that he could do. If he thinks he can do better than you, he's not gonna make you his girlfriend, but he will still sleep with you. Ladies, ladies. I promise I'm not trying to slut shame you. If you want to still live that life, that's entirely up to you. I'm not in the business of telling people how to live their lives. However, I would honestly strongly encourage you to, to consider the fact that some of these guys who you give yourselves to 
view you as just being better than their hand. Like that is that is how meaningful it is to them. Because hookup culture benefits guys more than it will ever benefit girls. So some people are gonna disagree with me, but let me explain. For starters, we have been knew that guys mainly just want sex. They rarely want commitment, but will do practically anything to get laid. Whereas girls, we're not super horn dogs. Some of us are, but not to that extreme. Y'all wanna hook up like equally and with no commitment, whatever. Like you do, you live your life. I'm not judging. The problem is that guys tend to lead girls on because they want to keep getting what they want, which is a hookup. And then girls are painted out to be clingy or obsessive or psycho because they catch feelings but realistically it should be understandable to catch feelings when you're doing something so intimate instead of just being painted out as crazy and what do girls even gain from it honestly five minutes of faking it and not finishing 99% of the time I really don't think I'm missing out Oof. this is gonna be a long video guys if you don't want a long video just this 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 get get on out because wow 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 Wow, this was so jam-packed lord okay so this is it the women are starting to understand god we, we have wanted i have won this has been my 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 hope my prayer my my desire for young women especially to see there is no benefit to you having casual sex there is no benefit to you hooking up there is no benefit some guys have no standards honestly some guys have no standards he doesn't care he's just gonna get it in whereas you would feel like ew gross or maybe a girl who is not that attractive but she's getting guys to like you know she's she's hooking up with guys who are really hot and it's because it's easy and whatever's easy it's like fast food the guy is not going to you know when you go to mcdonald's you're not thinking about the nutrition and and how this is a wonderful experience and you eat it because you're hungry you like ravenously hungry it's convenient it's there you don't want to spend a lot of money on like an actual like you know big restaurant it's quick you could take it to go throw the trash in your car or hide it away but you usually feel like shite you feel satisfied that you ate but you feel it makes you feel kind of shite and you're just like i know i shouldn't be eating this it's not that good it's just you know it's just it's making me fat it's making me this that and the other what versus if a guy, a guy is going to you know the top steak restaurant right and he's gonna really cherish that meal of that experience and having good conversation and having this memory of it do you remember like every time you've gone to mcdonald's no but do you remember like a fancy meal a really nice restaurant that you really had to invest money and put something into it we value what we invest in we value what you know we have to work for a lot of women have to realize to some guys you are mcdonald's you are McDonald's. It's not that he's a douchebag because you let him. You let him, you make <laughs> McDonald's doors are open. Sometimes 24 hours. You can hit the drive-through at what time? 1 a.m., 2 a.m., some McDonald's are 24 hours. He does not see you more than just something to just satisfy that hunger for the moment. Realize it, that you are allowing yourself to just be a body, honestly that term or that language really interesting catching feelings like isn't that interesting how the natural response that happens from being intimate with someone which is to develop feelings for them and to to start to bond with them is now talked about in a similar way to like catching the flu <laughs> i don't know it's just it's just interesting to me when people use that term catching feelings but going back to what she was saying as someone who's never really took part in hookup culture i never i've never experienced situationships or friends with benefits or, or one night stands and i remember when i was in school when i was in secondary school people would say things like oh you know you have to go through a hoe phase or whatever and you kind of have to experience people in order to like know what you like and so that when you're in a relationship you don't like think to yourself like what if or like I wish I'd kind of experienced that and you'll always be like longing for those experiences so you have to kind of go through that phase to me it just didn't make any sense my headset was very much like why should I just give myself to people because it's funny because I used to have this saying <laughs> I don't know if I want to say it because it's going to offend some people screw it I'm gonna say it when I used to have this belief don't be offended by this okay because this was specifically for me I was talking about myself and how I viewed myself when I was saying this so don't accuse me of slut shaming or whatever nonsense but 
my the, the saying that I used to live by was, I always want to treat my body like a temple, not a McDonald's drive through But that was generally the mindset that I had. And because of that, I just never took part in any of that stuff. Cause I just always believed that your body is so precious. Like your body is so precious. And I just don't think that everybody should get to experience it. Not everybody should get to have that experience. And this applies to everybody. I think all of us have value. And I think that, we should be selective with who we choose to share ourselves with, men and women. So if you're someone who's currently hearing loads of people tell you that you should experience that phase in your life, you should go for a hoe phase, you'll regret it if you don't, I can tell you that I never taken part in hookup culture and I am in a relationship with the same person who I've been with for seven years and I am as happy as I possibly could be. I don't regret, I don't regret my decision whatsoever. In fact, I'm very happy with my decision. So if you know in your heart of heart that you are not built to have casual sex and you know in your heart of heart that you want to have something more meaningful, don't conform just because that's what everybody else is doing. So I have not watched this video guys and she used the analogy of McDonald's. I only watched the first 30 seconds because I like to do a blind reaction. Now I want you to take the idea of would you let anybody borrow your car? Would you let anybody just borrow your ATM card, your credit card? Would you let them just come into your house? Just anybody. Would you let them borrow, you know, a handbag or a clothing item that you spent a lot of money on and you really value or jewelry? Would you let people do this? Would you let somebody do this? No, but you will let them borrow your body. And you say, well, I borrow his body. Like the girl said, sex, casual hookups are usually, I would dare say 95% of casual sex is not fulfilling to women sexually. They're not climaxing. They're not feeling fulfilled. It's usually like the young woman said, It'll be a quick thing where it's performative. You're trying to show out, throw that back, twerk, whatever. You're trying to impress a guy and draw him in. And it's not even fulfilling. And usually it leaves, the man will leave, feel satisfied. He did that. He ate his McDonald's on to the next. He will not value it. But you actually, even if you try to say, oh, I'm a bad B, I don't really want anything. I don't really want a relationship. I'm just having casual sex. The programming that they've tried to get you to accept, it goes against you biologically. Your subconscious, your unconscious mind does not want this. If you've accepted, oh, it's just casual. It's because this is trauma-based. You've gone through this several times or now you know the drill. So you've had to harden yourself. You've had to take away part of your femininity, part of who you are, part of what makes you precious, that makes you valuable. You've had to chip away at it again and give it away. And subconsciously that eats at you. You know, that's not what you want. You know, it's not satisfying, but you do it because that's what culture says or because like she mentioned and a lot of us in this space have mentioned the guy that you you can't believe this guy wants to hook up you can't this guy is is so good looking and you value wow this hot guy like the girl said when she was you know in high school wasn't all these guys into her but then the hot guy was and she assumed it was relationship based but you're just mcdonald's and i don't want that to devalue you i'm saying from his lens there's no one that can tell me that casual sex is just this wonderful experience especially when you, you know you are hoping or thinking that this guy is going to give relationship to you or be interested in you more than that and when he doesn't you resign yourself more and more to giving away what is most precious, what, what you have, because how will a guy be interested in me otherwise? How will a hot guy like that want me otherwise? But see, because you, you, you don't value yourself and haven't done the work to heal and, and really define who you are and what you want out of life and actually work towards those goals. Hookup culture, hot girl summon, having a hoe phase there is, n there is not one person who has told me the benefits of it to say what you like sexually or how to explore your body. To me, all of that can be done in the confines of a relationship. I, everything they say is a benefit. I don't see how that can't happen in a relationship. And they may say, well, you'll, you'll, if you, you hook, if you stay with one guy when you're young and then as you get older, you feel like you missed out and all these other things. Yeah, that can happen. That happens to men as well. That happens to everybody, but see maturity, maturity and actually focus on what you want out of your life. Is this productive? Does this move the goal towards what I truly want? It's the equivalent of taking multiple 
part-time jobs, just kind of floating around, kind of, well, I never experienced being, you know, a circus clown. I never experienced being a garbage man. I never experienced all these different jobs versus setting the course and the pace early, going to school and learning and, and setting your career. And yes, you can have a career change. You can, you know, jobs not working out. That happens, that's life. But it does not make you say, you know what? I wanna just have a summer of just being a circus clown. Then I wanna like, you know, go and be, uh, you know, chop chop trees. And then I wanna go be a phlebotomist. And same thing with jewelry, fast, casual, fa fast fashion is trying on new things, but there's no benefit to it. Other than fast fashion is trendy. It doesn't last. It doesn't, it just drains your bank account. You're keeping up with the Joneses. You're keeping up with culture. You're keeping up with what you think you should be doing because God forbid you miss out on being a hoe. Listen, you can be a hoe at any age. You can give box. There's women right now giving away box of all ages. So you're never missing out on a hoe face. Being a hoe is easy. Having the hoe face is easy. There is no work, okay? Being in a relationship takes work. And I think a lot of us were not taught how to do relationship. We don't understand the six phases of a relationship. We don't understand our attachment style. We don't, under we don't understand ourselves. We don't love ourselves. We don't know what's been programmed into us as children. And so we just keep going. But in no other area of life do we take such a casual stance of giving something away or trying something new other than with our body, something so precious. Yes, you can try different foods, you can try different things, but I mean serious things. It's like, you know, you, it, it doesn't make sense. So if it doesn't make sense on that level, you've got to dial it back and say, does it make sense for me to do this? And I'm going to do more videos on how to reprogram this in you. If you feel as though you've, this is what you've had to do or what you've been programmed to do or you've had these experiences and they've been unfulfilling there's a reason why but i'm going to do a part two to this video because this has gone way longer than i thought and i'm rambling sorry guys i just kind of shoot from the hip what i'm thinking so if it's not one cohesive thought just go with it we're working on it <laughs> stay tuned for part two